Nice improvement on an already good model of Sony on-ear headphones. Sony ZX Series Wired Owner Headphones, Black Nurse Stone 110. The item is sold by Sony. Lightweight 1. 38 in new Demium Dynamic Drivers deliver a punchy, rhythmic response to even the most demanding tracks. Driver Unit Dome Type. The swiveling ERCOP design allows easy storage when you're not using them and enhances portability when you're traveling. Cushioned air pads for total comfort and enfolding closed back design seals in sound. The wide frequency range spanning 12 to 22 delivers deep bass, rich mid-range and soaring highs. Plug will ship stereo mini plug 3. 5. 4.5 out of 5 stars. This Sony ZX series wired has a total of 96,214 reviews. Product linked in the description below. The first review is from Xmetal. Nice improvement on an already good model of Sony on-ear headphones. 4.0 out of 5 stars. February 2022 update to the newest Gen 2022 pair I mentioned sounding muddy. I have used them a few days and now I think I have the fix. That is not the way I am used to these headphones sounding on that track. I still would prefer not having to do this, and having them tuned the way they used to be tuned maybe I got a bad pair. But they are usable now, and I like them Jan 2022 update. I recent bought a backup pair this past December, and just tested them today. I do like versus the 20 million. 162,017 versions of the 110s the cable from the split down to the connected seems thicker like the 100s used to be. Though what I don't like is the tuning. I still have those old 110s and I 100 notice a clarity difference. Turns out I can't return these if I wanted to not saying would. But doing an absp compartion I totally hear a clarity difference. These new ones sound balanced do not get me wrong, but they sound a tad muddy versus the old pair. They need EQ help, but they sound decent now, even if not great. And I totally admit I do a combo of a URB shaped EQ when using the Sony 100s or 110s. These don't sound great on EQ, but this exact pair, while they work, sound muddier than any 100s or 110s I have had before. If this was my own experience with the MDRX Z100s or 110s, I'd be considering other brands. In the same price range, this review is based on my first impressions with the 110s on a number of 3 player and a number of 100s the previous model took swa. Amazon. Com product for what to entire for how a detail page you fight scone that I have had and used over the years. Pro sound quality so far, I do notice more bass in these new my first pair of the 110s pair of headphones, and unlike prior experience with Sony and other companies too, Airbids wear the new great model. My fix was in Rockbox, Sansom 3 players running Rockbox was always my main use case. I left treble and bass alone, and kept all of my prior sound settings I had for prior models sounding good didn't sound as good as the prior ones did. These 110s just add enough to the bass and possibly treble too, that makes it definitely sound better than the 100s though it doesn't fall into the trap I described above. I have to say that this is not really a knock on the 100s. I do still like them, but for the same price on either. I'd go with the 110s but if there is a good deal on the 100s and I was getting them again. I am not against getting another pair of the 100s either. Yes, these are cheap headphones, and probably not as good quality-wise as a really expensive pair, though I do recall some reviews saying they tried these alongside a pair of 200 Beats, and while they did say their friends' Beats did sound better, they personally would rather get maybe two or three pair of these and still have, say, 150 left over meaning they do not sound Persev's quality of the sound. That much better. Pro can build quality these are plastic headphones of course, though I do not agree with those that say oh it's like they are from the dollar store. I kept the I want to say around the Onek, 
and Twopy Q ranges that were at zero, and I pulled them down a bit. The plastic is horrible, etc., etc., just if you're going to buy a much more expensive pair of headphones. You will probably get better quality too, the one downside that I admit I see in these, and are a problem in the pair of the 100s that was 100 caused by me. And even then, that exact pair needed fixing but still sounds great. I am using them while typing this review is the part where the 100s and the 110s ERCOPS move. I am not sure how it could be made better, but that was the exact point of failure for my longest pair again 100 my fault for how the break happened. Note that if it wasn't for me they would still be fine and that is after three years of heavy use and they still work. So maybe it's fine for being able to fold in both models, I mean profit I am not sure. If I can say one way or the other I have a big head 100 not a small head, but they fit fine. Then. I also based off a YouTube video suggestion on money sound I pulled down the low end in the advanced EQ part, still leaving a boosted bass in the individual bass part, even out of the box. Heck after that DIY type of repair I did on my broke pair, I had to flip them backwards and they for the most part still fit great. These 110s are no different. By the way, I have glasses regular and sunglasses used when wearing these, and just like the 100s, these are nice and comfy. Not too tight or too loose, if you ask me. Basically, I think some of the cords on others are way, way too small, and that always leads to the problem of one of the two sides going out for good. The cord on the 110s looks a tad smaller diameter-wise, but really if that doesn't mean, that issue I just described doesn't happen. I do not really care. Hard to explain for those that don't know Rockbox, but it's like an Android EQ where you pull the low end down in the slider portion, but also enable a bass boost toggle or something that an EQ app may have. I just want the headphones to work for a long time. If the cord is different but there are no issues, this change is fine by me. Plug, I will keep this review updated if there is a change, but I have no had these for long enough to comment on some of the reviews who keep having issues with the plug breaking. Not on this pair, but my other pair of the 100s get plugged into and unplugged from stuff for over three years now and often too. Never had a problem. But then again, I can't comment on these. For now. Summary, I would recommend these no question. Though, if you're expecting a super high-end sound aka or an audio feel, you may be disappointed though, as someone who loves his music. That sort of thing only, you have more control over how much the bass boost is boosted. I think the sound with the right equalizer settings on the device or program you're using. I do love the sound of these. Update after using a new pair of the 100s. Aka the prior model, really. The 110s do have the slightly higher bass, and that is not a bad thing either. The new pair of the 100s I am using I actually thought were the 110s I just forgot what headphones I was using. The point, they both have great bass, and I think the pair that I use to wear daily the broken pair that still works great. Just doesn't fit perfectly and Nimori's fit actually affects the bass. That old pair I hold the Urkups closer to my ears than how they sit now. Not all songs sound great, but that could be the source file. And I hear a lot more bass. Between the 100s and 110s, if the way each one of them fold doesn't matter to you for safe fitting them into a caring case. I recommend both 1000 no typo. Find the best deal. If you can get one a little cheaper than the other. Cool. There is more bass by a little bit on the 110s, but do not think I am saying a new pair of the 100s are weak in that department. Even the one I am thinking of doesn't make me go wow. From the manufacturer of Durst 110 Sony, built with comfort and performance in mind, there's no need to compromise. Enjoy rich, full-frequency response. 30 driver units deliver full, balanced sound for a complete listening experience from 12 22,000. Swivel folding design compact for portability yet affording listening flexibility. Tangle-free cables, the durable one. 
Two ametite cable resists snags and tangles, so you can get caught up in your music, not your chord. Maximizing your personal audio experience has never been easier than with Sony Zaseri's monitor headphones. Built with comfort and performance in mind, there's no need to compromise. Product linked in the description below. Our first question is from Alltimer II. The description summary says owner. The comparison chart says over-ear for the fit. Which are these? The ear fit is not the problem. As far as I am concerned, the sound is not as good as other Sony models. Please try the Sony Stereo Model Dynamic Stereo Headphones Modem Dravone 150. Product linked in the description below. For more content like this, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified of new uploads. We upload new videos every day. See you next time.